Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and welcome to the third part of my how to set up iNav on a 5-inch mini quad tutorial. In the previous two episodes we configured the basic hardware, configured GPS, the receiver, we calibrated all the sensors, I mean the accelerometer and the magnetometer. We also applied the correct mixer preset and we applied the profile that turn the iNav to know that it's running a powerful 5-inch machine, not some default defaults that are not really good for anyone, but real defaults that should work 5 on the 5-inch machine. And we also tweaked the, the configuration slightly for some of the edge cases that you might experience. If you haven't seen the previous two episodes, I suggest you go back, the links are in the description to know what you are missing because there might be like details that are very very important. In today's episode we're gonna take a look at the PID values applied by the preset and uh, see how the filtering of the gyroscope signal is handled right now inside of the INAV. First of all, the those three pit gains you well you cannot really change them or alter them without maintaining and tuning your craft so here you have to kind of trust us developers and the beta flight developers that those values are more or less correct because we applied the seven inch performance preset for the let's say modern powerful uh, five inch drone they are well let's say they should be fine. On the older, like two, three years old, uh, five inches, the P gains might be slightly too low, but for those older quads, you have the preset called the racer or the GPS that takes into consideration that you have weaker motors and propellers. Then the rates, the rates are, let's say, safely set to around 750 degrees per second. This is the difference between the INAV and the beta flight. We do not have rates, super rates, expo rates and whatever rates there are in some arbitrary strange numbers. We only have rates in the degrees per second. 750 degrees per second means that if you have a deflection of the 100% of the stick, then the drone should be rotating at 750 degrees per second. That's all. There are no extra rates applied somewhere. There are only rates and on the receiver page we have Expo. Default Expo of 07 and uh, also the RCO Expo of the 07, which are almost perfect for five, six or seven inch machines. But let's go back to the tuning. What you might want to change is the max roll angle and pitch angle. If there will be a day when you will be flying horizon or angle, you might really raise this value to, let's say, 60, 60? No, 50 degrees on the roll and 50 on pitch and max hold rate. This will be applied only when you will be doing a position hold with magnetometer enabled and the default of 90 will give you, let's say, quite rapid turns. If you want to use your quad for more cinematic uh, turns, you might want to, to lower this, but this is not really required. And now let's take a look at the filtering setup. Filtering setup in this preset, the performance, is with the notch filters disabled because you do not really need those notch filters usually if your setup is not very 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 noisy we have the gyroscope lpf cutoff frequency at 100 hertz which should be fine with most of even not the cleanest uh, motors and setups and the stage two this is the famous last year uh, not kalman uh, RCFIR2 stage 2 gyro filter set to 220 Hz. You might, after some tuning, bump this value to let's say 250 if you feel that uh, your mini quad is not well, it is 
behaving very nicely and there are no strange things happening in the logs, black box logs. But for the first flights, 220 is kind of conservative. It should save your motors from doing something strange. The same applies for the DTAME LPF cutoff frequency. I think currently Betaflight raised this value to, I don't want to, 110 hertz or something like that. There is also the and once, one more time, you cannot really tune this value without a proper black box lock, black box lock and like knowing what you are doing in flight. Something that you might want to disable if you are into more aggressive flying is the yaw LPF uh, cutoff frequency. But once more time for the first flight, ignore them. And yes, the notch filters for the D term also will be disabled by default and we can just ignore the as ACC notch filters because this is really for the very 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 special cases. Also uh, there is a problem of the TPA. Um, it's really hard to set up TPA correctly without really knowing. I recently started to apply TPA from I admin mean, trust bit attenuation from the lowest possible values, that mean it really starts acting from let's say 1100 throttle value with around 10%. If there will be some vibration on the full throttle, then you might raise the TPA factor slightly. But if, like I said, this is relatively modern and nice build, you, you even might not have to use the TPA at all. But from 10 to let's say up to 20% might be happening from time to time. But for the first flights, when you do not know how your quad is behaving, leave it at the default at 1500 and that's all. There is also something that it's not currently exposed in the graphical user interface and it's available only in CLI if you type get determ. If you type that Git. If you type get determ, you will see that there is indeed in INAV the determ set point weight. I know currently Betaflight is not really using this, but it is. It is in the INAV. Um, let's say we are the Betaflight of the last year. Determ set point weight allows you to set how your determ should be behaving. Determ set point weight of one is, let's say, a nice compromise when the D-term will help you start making uh, maneuvers to start and stop rotation of the quad, while the zero value will always be for the stabilization. If you are more into freestyle or just flying far, then leave it at default one. If you are more into the cinematic and very, let's say, gentle flights, you might set it to set point weight zero. Almost all my quads fly with D-term set point weight 1, only I think on one of them I lowered this to 0 0.5, but for the first flights and for just having fun with INAV, leave it at 1. And okay, I think this is all for today. We covered most of the topics uh, about the pit values and the filtering of the 5 inch in INAV. In the next episode, we will take a look at the advanced tuning tab, which have, has some very, very important DPS related settings. Until the next one. Bye.